Coach, a 9-5 victory over Delaware today in Newark, Delaware. Uh, your assessment of today's game? Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm certainly thrilled for our guys. Um, you know, they've had a lot of weight on their heads and on their shoulders throughout this year. And uh, since we started our new season that we talked about, you know, a week or so ago, um, there's three out of the last four now. So uh, things are, are moving in a good direction. I uh, can't really go any further without talking about um, Chris Clark. For him to be 15 out of 17 or wherever he was, Ryan Riley, Mike Malave, those guys really stepped up and did a, did a great job. Sam at the end taking a beating and then uh, putting one in to kind of seal it. But you can't, you can't win games without having the ball. Uh, I don't think that we, I thought we had too many turnovers. I thought that we were, uh, we weren't great on man up. Um, but when you can uh, get a CAA win on the road, it certainly is helpful. And uh, we'll get to get a chance to regroup. For, uh, for Drexel coming in next week. His first road win of the year, so does that mean a little bit more now that it is conference win and you guys are one-on-one? Yeah, no, I mean, and listen, any win on the road is, is certainly helpful, and you know, you know our season hasn't uh, kind of played out the way we wanted it to uh, for, for many different reasons, but um, what we're trying to, to instill in these guys and, and our staff is doing a great job of it is there's going to be times in life where there's just tough times and we just got to fight through it. And now, now with a win today, now you have to enjoy to learn to enjoy these times because sometimes they're, they're, they're a little far between. So we're, uh, we're thankful to get the W and uh, we will uh, we'll let them celebrate and then we'll get back to work on, on Monday. You out shoot them 40 to 17. So you pretty much pull them out of the water when it comes to shot. The score was obviously closer, but right. what did you like offensively? How were we getting so many shots? Yeah, I mean, I thought, I don't think that we forced a ton of shots. I thought that last week we, we forced uh, maybe four, five, six shots. So this, this week I thought that maybe we either didn't hit the cage or well, their goalie played pretty well. They played two goalies, you know, they switched them out at half. And um, so, you know, with that, uh, I thought those guys, you know, they, Delaware, the one thing that is scary as, as anything is when you come to Delaware, when Delaware plays you, Coach Schillingwell has his guys playing at, at a frenetic pace, and those guys play hard. Uh, you know, Brian Cormody, uh, you know, I tell you what, he is one of the tougher guys that we've ever had to coach against. Is Chris Clark the best face-off man in the CAA? Um, I, I, I don't want to say that yet. I mean, I certainly have my opinions, but I'm not, I'm not here to give anybody else any blackboard material. Uh, we're going against the guy, you know, last name Saputo and Drexel, and uh, there's, uh, he got the best of us last year. So let's just take this game by game, and we'll see how we'll, – we'll answer that question at the end of the year. I'll change the question for you then. What does he do to take over a game? Yeah, Chris was locked in today. You know, I mean, it's, it's one thing that you can apparently see is when Chris is locked in, it's pretty good. I mean, they threw just about everybody at him. They had a short stick D midi take a face off. Uh, it looked like Tyler Barbich was hurt a little bit in the first half and then came back and fought a little bit in the second half. And, uh, and then certainly number four came out and, uh, and he's a pretty talented face off guy as well. So Chris held his own against different guys, which yeah. is pretty difficult to do. What does it mean to have Sam only score two goals today and still have a decisive victory? Yeah, it's great. I mean, again, it's, it just shows that, you know, Mike Malave steps up and a couple other guys step up. And, you know, Zach Franco, you know, we were nervous. Do you make that switch in a, in a big time CAA game? And he comes in, he puts two in. So I'm awfully thrilled for Zach. He's a wonderful guy. He's really worked hard in the weight room. And to have this happen for him, uh, those, are the, those, those are the great stories. I think sometimes when you and I have discussions, whether during the week or whatever, we talk about you know a couple of miscues here or there, a quarter or something that dooms you guys. It didn't happen to that. Why? Yeah, I mean, again, I, I think that you know there were certainly miscues today. Let's not say that. I mean, that we had them, but we promised the guys, and the guys promised us that it, let's just play fast, as fast as we can. Uh, let's play as simple as we can. Let's not make these things complicated. And we're going to make mistakes. Let's just cut them loose, like we cut uh, good plays loose. We, you know, you can't live on the last play. So win or lose with that last play, let's just move on. And uh, and I thought those. Guys Guys took that to heart this week. What do you take from this game and then put it forward to Drexel next week? Uh, you know, again, huge CA game gets us back to one and one in the conference. Know that we have three games, you know, three huge conference games left. Uh, but right now it's, it's, you know, we won three out of the last four with a, with a hiccup versus UMass. And, uh, and we're going to just get to work and, and try to prepare to be successful uh, on Saturday versus Drexel.